Hello. So St. Patty's Day is coming up pretty soon here. I thought I would show you how to make a Scottish breakfast. I know it's not Irish, but it is close enough. Um, start out by uh, boiling some eggs. Reserve one egg. I'm making five here. Um, the dip that we're going to make later. More like an egg wash, actually. Um, you boil the eggs, and then, so, while the eggs are boiling, and if you don't know how to boil an egg, um, this is not going to be any fun for you. Um, I also have my roommate's um, deep hot pet fryer going to warm up. Um, these eggs will probably take a couple minutes. I'm going to spare you uh, me uh, cooling them down, taking the shells off of them, and uh, otherwise drying them off because you don't want to put anything with a lot of water into hot fat. doesn't do well. Um, so I will see you in a minute. Okay, so the, uh, sorry, I should talk to you when I'm looking at you, you can probably hear me better. Uh, the eggs are still cooking. Um, I have the one egg reserve, which is going to be our uh, egg wash. So basically, all you do is you throw that into any sort of container, and you whip it up, and that's that. You don't need a lot of egg wash because you're just doing a couple eggs here. Um, but in the meantime, I'll show you what else I'm going to do. I've gone out and I've got some breadcrumbs, they're cheap, and pork sausage. This whole breakfast is going to cost you about five bucks. Very doable. Besides, you need to save your money for uh, when you can you even see me for when you uh, go out drinking tonight. Prepare this, you know, the morning before St. Patty's Day. So. Um, Okay, so while the eggs are still cooking, I just thought I'd explain the uh, sausage bit. Um, I really gotta stop saying, um, I must have said it eight, nine, ten, about a hundred times already. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get your sausage out of the plastic. A sharp knife would help. we've got our sausage out, the idea is we're going to take the sausage and wrap it around the hard-boiled eggs. And then we're going to put some breadcrumbs on them and a little bit of the egg wash, and then we're going to fry them. Yes, this is not very healthy, but uh, it's kind of fun. So basically what we're going to do is once we've got our sausage out of the package, is we're going to take a piece, oh, you want your sausage thawed. I don't know if I mentioned that. You want to take a piece about the size of a, a small hamburger, about there, and uh, you have saran wrap, fine, I have a plastic bag. You can squish it down with your hand, you can uh, be E.D. Gourmet and use your knife and pound it, you can use a rolling pin if you want to. The idea is you want to smoosh it out because this is going to wrap around your egg and uh, that's pretty much the idea right out there. Uh, you could do this without the plastic bag, you could use wax paper, it's a little messy either way you do it. I prefer the plastic bag method because I have a layer on the top and the bottom, I don't have to put saran wrap down and then saran wrap on the top. This works for me. Play with it, do what you want. Um, but basically, you want to keep in mind that your egg is going to go in the center here and then you're going to wrap it around. So you want you know, a good medium sized pancake. Okay, eggs are almost done. Okay, so after making a couple of these, this is the first time I've attempted this recipe. Um, <clears throat> I found that the egg wash is shit. I got one of them cooking right now in the egg wash, and I've already finished one of them just without. Just try it. Um, so here's my method. You get your sausage. You get yourself a bunch of the sausage. 
bench here. And rather than screwing around with the plastic bag, I found it's easier to put down some breadcrumbs and then play with this shit like it's uh, you know, dough or silly putty, something like that. Uh, mine was not completely warm, room temperature, before I started, so it's still a little cold. And it adds to the plasticity of it, and it doesn't really, uh, it's not helping me out much. So, by warming it up first with my hands and kind of moving it around to the point I want it to be, and then what I'm doing is I'm just swishing it out like I described before on the breadcrumbs. Got a little bit too much here. Um, <clears throat> making myself a nice little pancake like I described before. Once I got my pancake, pretty simple. Take your egg in the middle, roll it up as best we can, and then pinch the edges until you've got yourself a nice little spear there. You can roll it, you can pat it, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, the idea being you just want your nice little ball. Then, once we have the ball, we take it and we add it to the uh, go for a minute. Um, I did one egg just as I just described to you. You can see it didn't uh, hold up too well. Um, it kind of flaked apart, but that's no big thing. Still going to taste the same. Um, <clears throat> and I did one egg Additional egg wash at the end. Um, you can tell the difference here. The egg wash, a little bit, you know, more golden, less of the, the meaty look to it, and also it might help, you know, keep the batter on. It's still going to taste the same. If you want to do the extra egg wash prior to throwing it in there, you can do that too. I'll try them both and let you know what I think. But uh, pretty much that's it. You just, uh, it's a hard boiled egg, some sausage, you fry the fuck out of it, and um, eat it. And then you go out drinking it, St. Patty's Day, hurrah. And and uh, P.S. these also go well with a nice dark beer. So uh, I hope you've had fun. It's not bad.